Guys, in our previous videos, we saw a lot of things regarding Django Admin. We customized the Django Admin interface. We saw how static files work, how to serve static files. In this video, we'll see how template inheritance works and why we should be using template inheritance. In order to demonstrate template inheritance, what I'll do is I'll uh, first start my server, python manage.py run server. Honestly speaking, guys, I was thinking of demonstrating template inheritance using some other project, but this is the best project to demonstrate template inheritance. I'll tell you why. Firstly, it has only four pages and it really gets very simple for me to explain you what template inheritance is when the website is small. So what I'll do is I'll tell you why we should be using template inheritance. Let us say you have this website and you are very happy with this website. I'll start my server and show you how website looks. So my server is already started. As you can see, I am at home. I can come to about projects, contact me. Now let us say I want to add a new tab called hire me here. If I want to add such kind of tab, I'll have to add this tab inside contact me, inside projects, inside about, inside home. So I'll have to repeat myself four times. But if you have ever heard of dry principle, it says do not repeat yourself. And when you are programming in Django, it is really important for you not to repeat yourself. So how to get around this? I'll tell you how you can get around adding the content in the four files separately. So in order to get started with template inheritance, what I'll do is I'll create a base.html file. And I want you guys to listen to me very, very carefully because this is really very important. So what I'll do is I'll create a base.html and this will be our base template, which we'll use to extend all these four templates, okay? So our home, our projects are about and our contact.html will be inheriting from this base.html. So what I'll do is I'll copy this home and I have entirely copied my home page. So in order to create a template, what I'll do is I'll say, okay, I need navbar in all the pages. Do I need alert on all the pages? Yes, I need alert on all the pages as well. Do I need this container field on all the pages? No, this is specific to home. This content, the slider, and I'll show you what these me at a glance cards, all these things are specific to home page. So what I'll do is I'll exclude this and I'll even exclude this container. But footer is something that I need and I want it. I want this footer to be shown in all the pages. So if I want this footer to appear across all the pages, what I'll do is I'll keep it here as well as I'll keep all this JavaScript and all this bootstrap CSS stuff. All right, guys. So what I'll do now is I will say whatever I want to insert here should be called block body. Okay. So I'm saying I'm defining a new block. It's called body. Okay. Now what is a block? I'll tell you what a block is. I'm saying block body and then I'll say end block body. So whenever I'm inheriting this template, Inside my home.html, I'll say I want to extend from this template and I want to add some content to the blog body. Okay, if that makes sense. So what I'll do is I'll say, okay, this thing is already there in my template. I'll remove this. Then I'll say, okay, this thing is also already there in my template. And in fact, the nav bar and alert are also there in my template. So let me get rid of this. And uh, I need to have load static because I'm using static on this page. So what I'll do is I'll keep just enough amount of HTML that I need to uh, need to add to this page.html. Okay. So what I'll do now is I'll say I want to extend. I want to extend from uh, base.html. So I'll say extends. This is Django template language. So you need to have the syntax. I'll say extends base.html and I'll say person and I'll complete the syntax. Now I'm extending from this base.html. Again, let me keep this load static at the top. I'm using this load static because I have some static files which I'm using and this is required tag for that. Okay, now I'm saying I'm extending from base.html and I want to add the content which I am further writing inside my blog body okay so i'll say block body and i'll say and block body let me zoom it out and block body so if i show you my 
होम पेज आई शो यू माई होम पेज ओके सो इट्स टेलिंग मी दैट देर इज सम टेम्पलेट सेंटेक्स एर इट्स सेइंग एक्सटेंड नोट्स बीस डॉट एच टी एम एल मस्ट बी अ फर्स्ट टेम्पलेट इन द टैग ओके सो इट्स सेइंग यू नीड टू एड दिस एट द वेरी टॉप ऑल राइट नो प्रॉब्लम सो एल एड इट एट द वेरी टॉप एंड दिस वर्कस नाउ ओके सो बेसिकली वॉट आई एम डूइंग हेयर इज आई एम सेइंग दैट आई हैव दिस बेस डॉट एच टी एम एल विच कंटेन्स रिक्वायर्ड इन्फॉर्मेशन टू जनरेट दिस होम डॉट एच टी एम एल ऑल आई नीड टू डू इज इंजेक्ट सम कॉन्टेंट इन साइड द बॉडी ओके एंड वोट आई माई इंजेक्टिंग आई एम इंजेक्टिंग दिस थिंग इन साइड द बॉडी एंड द हैडर एंड फुटर इज कॉमन टू ऑल द पेजेस ऑल दीज होम प्रोजेक्ट्स अबाउट एंड कॉन्टैक्ट पेजेस आई होप यू गाइज आर क्लियर विद दिस Similarly, just like I changed my home dot html, I'll go to my projects dot html and I'll use the same syntax. I'll copy this and I'll remove this footer and I'll come to the top and I will remove this thing as well. I'll paste it and I'm now saying that uh, I need I don't need a nav bar. I just want to start from the container because this is something that I want to add here inside this block body. Okay. now uh, i don't need starting on this page or do i no i don't and i'll come here copy this one come at the end and then paste this one control s to save once again i'll remove this footer control v and once again i'll copy this thing this extends and block body and let me add this here as well uh let me remove this this thing which is already present in my header and then once again i'll paste this here as well and you guys got the point what i'm doing here so i'll simply paste this and then end block and block body control v and once again if i save this and if i reload this page it works just as expected similarly for about as well and then for projects as well and then contact me as well now you guys must be seeing that i have this footer i think i i forgot to remove the footer from my contact page uh yes i forgot to remove the footer let me remove the footer mm. okay so you guys must be thinking how to get around this now in order to solve this what i'll do is i'll simply add some sort of content between this uh, form and the footer or what i can do is I'll come to my base dot html and I can change this footer to have fixed bottom. So I can save this and if I reload this, it will have fixed bottom. So I can come to contact projects about and you can see that this page looks just fine. So this is the end of our website. I hope you guys understood what template inheritance is. Now, if I want to change the footer and say change the date or the year or whatever I want to. I can simply come back to my base dot html and I can simply make some changes. If I want to add another tab called hire me, I'll add it to my base dot html inside the navigation bar. So if I say hire me and if I reload this page, you can see that hire me comes up here. Then about then projects on contact then hire me. one thing that you can see is whenever i come to my contact me my home is being highlighted and if i come to projects then also my home is being highlighted so in order to solve this problem what i can do is i can add more blocks but at this point i don't want to add more blocks because i want you guys to understand how this template inheritance is working even if you look at the title it's home on all the pages see even if i come to contact page this is showing home if i come to projects page this is showing up as home which is not what i want okay so what i'll do is i'll add another block but before that i'll give you a quick revision on how all these things work and i'll also remove this load static because i don't want it i've already added load static here if i'm not wrong yes i have so control s to save and then if i reload this this works So now I'll remove this hire me because I just wanted to show you that you can add as many list items as you want. So I'll remove this hire me. This is not at all required. What I'll do at this point is I'll explain you how this template inheritance works. So you have a base template, you have a template which you are using to inherit from your base template. So you are saying that I want to use base or HTML. Use base or HTML. but do one thing add this load static as well as add this content inside the block body so 
here I can see an empty block body. What it will do is it will take all this content and it will literally paste it inside this block body. So if I have multiple blocks, say if I have a block title, so I can have another block called block title. So I can have a block title like this and I can say end block title and block. In fact, end block title is not required. You can even say end block, but I prefer adding these title and block title because this makes it clear which block is ending where. So what you can do is you can fill this title block as well. You can say my title should be home here and then my title should be, I'll make it one liner. I think it'll look good. You can, you can keep it whatever way you feel like. So I'll copy this. I'll paste this here. I'll say the title for this page should be projects. Control S to save, Control S to save. And then once again, I'll say about, Control S to save. Uh, once again, I'll add this title inside my contact as well. Okay, so if I reload this page here, I'll come back here. You can see that the title has been changed to contact. Similarly, if I come to projects, the title has been changed to projects about and we just have one more problem to solve, which is if I come to about, I want about to highlight and not home to highlight. And in order to solve this problem, what I'll do is I'll come back to my base.html and I'll add a block called active. So I'll say whenever home is active, I want this thing to be active, right? Whenever home is active, I want to add an active class to my LI. I'll say this will not be active. The class name will be home active. So home active means whether I want this home active to be active or not. So whenever I want this home to highlight, I'll set the value of home active as active. Okay. And whenever I want about to highlight, I'll set the value of about active as active. I hope you're getting the point. So I'll call it about active. Similarly, I'll call this one projects active. So projects active. And similarly, this one will be called contact active, contact active. And now what I'll do is I'll simply add active here. So I'll say add an active class to home, to this thing, this li home element. And then once again, I'll say that add this uh, active to projects, project active. Let me see if it's called project active or something else. Yes, it's called project active. So I, I need to change this as well. Copy, oops, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. So I'll copy this one and then I'll paste it here. Project active. Yes. I'll say active and let's just save. And then once again, copy and I'll come back to my contact. I'll say active, control S to save, control S to save. And then inside my about as well, I have added this block active. No, I haven't done that. I need to do that. So I'll say if I want to add active to about, I need to have this active here. So if I reload this page, and show you, you can see that about is being highlighted now. Projects is being highlighted here and contact me is being highlighted here. So this really gives a clean design to a website. I hope you guys understood how I did all these things and also you guys like this video. So if you like this website, this project is almost complete. Let me know in the comment section below how you like this project. And if you guys want me to do something else with this project, please give some suggestions, even if I switch to some other project i want you guys to drop some comments in the comment section below and tell me how this website can be further improved so i hope you guys like this video if you haven't already accessed my django playlist please make sure to access it you can click here to bookmark it and you can click here to save it that way this playlist will be all yours and I hope that this video was really helpful for you. If it was, please let me know in the comments below. So you guys can see that I've added this alert to all the pages. You can add this alert to some specific pages as well, just using template inheritance. And this is 
really an amazing concept in Django because you don't have to repeat yourself again and again. So I hope you like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much guys for watching this video and I will see you next time.